Hello everyone. In last video, we discussed briefly about the field of environmental science, the nature of problems it deals with, and how we can use statistical tools and techniques to better handle environmental issues, and many more. So, I hope till yet it's clear to everyone that statistics can be very helpful in decision making, even in the field of environmental science. So here in this video, we will start discussing the concept of statistics and we start with data types. Data types is the foundation of statistics. Why data types? Because knowledge about type of data enables us to apply correct statistics. Whatever tools and techniques we are going to use in future depends upon the type of data we have. Okay, whether we wanted to use simple descriptive statistics, we want to make some graphical representations, that means we want to visualize our data, or if we want to study the correlation between the variables, or if we want to test some hypothesis, or we want to quantify the relationship between two or more variables, we need to understand which type of data we have and only then we can apply the correct statistics and we can um, reach to the correct conclusion. Okay, so this topic is although very basic, it is equally important. So basically we have four types of data or four types of level of measurements. These are nominal, ordinal, interval and ratio scale. We will discuss each one of it one by one. The first one is nominal scale. Nominal as its name suggests, it's just a name. That means it's just a label like your name, my name. They are just the name by which we call it, but um, they don't have any order, they don't have any quantification, okay, they are just labeling. So this is nominal, so when we have only categories without any label, sorry, without any order, okay, that means we have only labels without any order, then it means it's a nominal data type. For example, hair color brown red black so there is no order for brown red and black they are just the name of the color so here color is the example of nominal scale similarly race religion are also examples of nominal scale there is no order involved they are just categories another example of it could be smoking status like smokers non-smokers so smokers and non-smokers are just labelings. There is no order involved into it. So that is why it is also an example of nominal scale. Like in environmental science, the name of the site we are going to include in our study can be one of the example of nominal scale. Like site ABC. Next one is ordinal scale. Ordinal, again, as its name suggests, ordinal means order. So, ordinal scale is also having a categorical data type, but here the categories have some order. So, it is the order of the values what is important and significant, but the difference between each one is not really known. Okay. So, we cannot quantify the difference between two categories, but we know that, yes, there is some order between the categories. Its second point is very important, ordinal scale dealing with relative differences rather than the quantitative differences. Yes, so relative difference means I can simply say that there is some difference between category A and category B. But I cannot quantify the difference between category A and category B. For example, ranks in a class. If I have only ranked data like student A 
होल्ड फर्स्ट पोजिशन स्टूडेंट बी होल्ड सेकेंड पोजिशन स्टूडेंट सी होल्ड थर्ड पोजिशन इन अ क्लास ओके सो दिस फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड पोजिशन आर रैंक्स ओके सो इफ वी डोंट हैव द एब्सोल्यूट नंबर्स एंड वी आर डीलिंग विथ ओनली रैंक्स सो वी कैन सिंपली से दैट यस द फर्स्ट रैंक होल्डर स्कोर हाइएस्ट इन द क्लास सेकेंड रैंक होल्डर स्कोर हाइएस्ट इन द क्लास एक्सेप्ट द फर्स्ट रैंक होल्डर बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली फर्स्ट रैंक होल्डर हैव हाइएस्ट मार्क्स ओके बट आई कैन नॉट क्वांटिफाई द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द मार्क्स because i don't have the absolute data i am right now i am dealing with ranking only so ranking is the example of ordinal scale similarly here in this table we have um categories of education level so again we can simply say that uh, there is a relative difference between the categories okay like go uh, here graduate have more knowledge then intermediate high school junior high school primary pre primary or illiterate but obviously it has less knowledge as compared to a post graduate student right so um, this is ordinal scale we cannot quantify the difference in knowledge but we can order it that is why this is education at this type of education level data is example of ordinal scale but suppose if i am asking the same question in a different format like how many years of schooling you have so then your answer will be in terms of years 10 years 11 years 15 years okay so that is not ordinal here we have quantification quantification in terms of years okay so the same question can be asked in different ways and can change the type of the data so please don't try to just uh, Make up the things. Just try to understand the concept. Okay, so as you can see that even in education level, we can have two types of data. Okay, it all depends upon how we are collecting the data. If we are using this format as uh, it is in this table, then this is ordinal in nature. If I am asking in terms of years of schooling, then it is not ordinal. Okay, this is um, then it will be a quantified data, not qualitative. similarly the qualitative characteristics like how do you feel today or how satisfied you are with our services or how satisfied you are with this video okay so these are subjective questions one might be very much satisfied with this video other one may be very much unsatisfied okay so this qualitative characteristic can be recorded by using the likert scale likert scale is uh, usually we have 5 point to 7 point likert scale Uh, where um, both the extremes are uh, very different like very unsatisfied to very satisfied or very unhappy to very happy okay so this is also a example of ordinal scale in environmental science uh, if we are considering ranking of cities as per pollution status okay so suppose i have only three cities a b and c and i have collected data or the respective organization collected data on pollution status and rank it as 1 2 3 okay so this ranking as i already told you ranking is example of ordinal data so in our scenario also in um, here these rankings are example of ordinal data next one is interval scale interval scale interval scale possesses a constant interval size and it has not a true zero point that means its zero point is arbitrary okay so let's understand these two points one by one with the help of example let's consider temperature in centigrade so the distance between 940 and 960 degree centigrade is same as the distance between 1000 and 1020 degree centigrade okay so the difference is 20 degree centigrade only so in interval scale we can compute the difference between two data points okay so obviously this is a quantity so we can arrange it in a order and we can also compute the difference between the two data points this is the advantage of interval scale over ordinal scale 
but what is the limitation of interval scale it doesn't have true zero point for example here we cannot say 20 degree centigrade is as twice as hot as temperature of 10 degree centigrade because we don't have true zero so let us understand what is true zero true zero means if we are using the same thing like temperature on one scale and then we are uh, measuring it on another scale then our zero should not change like here in case of temperature we all know this uh, formula f is equal to 9 by 5 c plus 32 okay so if we are using it and putting 0 degree centigrade then the temp Fahrenheit temperature will be 32 degree so 0 degree centigrade doesn't indicate absence of temperature while true zero means absence of temperature okay so that is why temperature in degree centigrade is not the example of a true zero point it's example of an arbitrary zero point so here zero is arbitrary only we can see zero on one scale but not on the another scale like if we are talking about weight say okay so weight of zero milligram means zero gram zero kilogram zero quintal okay so zero means zero irrespective of a scale so weight in case of weight we have true zero point but in case of degree centigrade we don't have true zero point similarly for height we have true zero point zero millimeter means zero centimeter zero kilometer zero meter okay so zero means zero so it's a true zero but when zero at one scale is not zero at on another scale that means it's not a true zero point okay so uh, in interval scale we have a constant interval size and we don't have a absolute zero circular scale is also example of interval scale the interval between say 2 pm and 3 30 pm is the same as the interval between 8 am and 9 30 am the difference is same one and a half hour okay but one cannot speak of the ratios of time of day because the zero point that is midnight on the scale is arbitrary for example uh, just to simplify the 00 hours in india doesn't mean that 00 hours in the world okay in different time zones there is a different timing when uh, there is a 00 hour they are considering okay so that 00 is arbitrary again okay whenever 0 is arbitrary then it is the example of interval scale similarly circular biological data usually like compass as a designation of not as 0 degrees arbitrary next scale is ratio scale in case of ratio scale we have all the features of interval scale plus absolute pre zero point okay so they tell us about the order they tell us the exact value between units and they also have an absolute zero for example height weight length of time yes time is an example of interval scale but length of time means the time between 1 am and 2 am is 1 hour okay so this 1 hour is length of time and this is example of ratio scale if we try to summarize this nominal ordinal interval and ratio scale as qualitative and quantitative data so nominal and ordinal falls into qualitative data qualitative data deals with characteristics and descriptors that cannot be easily measured but can be observed subjectively quantitative data deals with numbers and things we can measure objectively quantitative data is numerical information and it can be discrete or continuous Continuous means it could take any value within any observed range. There is a possible value between any other two possible values. For example, suppose if we are considering weight. So weight, uh, we are taking two consecutive numbers 50 and 51. Okay. So there is 
देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ पॉसिबिलिटीज ऑफ वेट बिटवीन फिफ्टी के जी एंड फिफ्टी वन के जी फिफ्टी पॉइंट जीरो वन फिफ्टी पॉइंट जीरो टू लाइक दैट ओके सो वेट इज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कॉन्टीन्यूस डेटा सिमिलर इज द केस विथ हाइट देन नेक्स्ट इज डिस्क्रीट डेटा डिस्क्रीट डेटा कैन टेक ओनली सर्टिन वैल्यूज सो बेसिकली डिस्क्रीट डेटा मीन्स काउंट डेटा लाइक नंबर ऑफ पेजेस इन अ बुक नंबर ऑफ टेबल्स इन अ ड्राफ्ट लाइक दैट ओके अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन इज कैन ऑर्डिनल एंड डिस्क्रीट डेटा टाइप्स ओवरलैप सो इट्स आंसर इज ऑब्वियसली नो ऑल दो डिस्क्रीट डेटा इज ऑल्सो अ नंबर एंड इन ऑर्डिनल डेटा मैनी अ टाइम्स वी हैव नंबर लाइक इन केस ऑफ एजुकेशन लेवल वी कोड अवर एजुकेशन कैटेगरीज एज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन ओके सो सम वन माइट कन्फ्यूज दैट दिस वन टू सेवन इज डिस्क्रीट डेटा टाइप but you should always observe the nature of the data we have okay so here if in case of education level example we are looking at 1 to 7 we might confuse that this is discrete data type but the number 1 to 7 indicates there is the education level okay which is ordinal in nature okay so although they are numbers they are representing just the orders we cannot add or subtract these numbers okay so always try to understand the concept and then decide your type of data here uh, are some very good books on data types uh, books and website also so uh, for uh, detailed understanding of types of data you can definitely refer to these sources they are very good and in case of any query please feel free to ask any questions to me i will be very happy to answer thank you everyone